Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2013 action science fiction film Pacific Rim. The film is co-written and directed by Guillermo del Toro. And it stars Charlie Human, Idris Elba, Rinko Kinucci, Charlie Day and Ron Perlman. Right, this focuses on an alternate future, if you like, where mankind is um, attacked by giant kaiju. Um, they destroy many, many cities. Humanity doesn't really know what to do about it um, until they design and put together Jaegers, which are giant robots uh, designed to battle these huge city um skyscraper sized kaiju they have some success but eventually these kaiju figure out these jaegers and the jaeger program is severely put at risk humanity decides to kind of build like these massive walls around the cities um kaiju proof walls so they're going to kind of put an end to the jaeger program because it's not working anymore so um idris elba's character uh stack a pentacoat puts together a group of the last uh, kaiju, uh, sorry, Jaeger pilots in the world. There's, uh, there's about four of them left, and this in includes Charlie Hunnam. Um, they bring up, it brings them all to one location in attempt to have like one final standoff against the kaiju in the hope that they can close the rift that is in the Pacific. There's a rift under the water where these kaiju come through. Um, so everybody has to kind of battle to kind of put an end to this kaiju threat. Right, what are my thoughts on Pacific Rim? Now, I went to the cinema when this came out. I mean, first thing I want to mention, obviously, is I put a poll on the channel. Um, put a list of films that you guys wanted me to review. Which one did you want me to review? And this one came, you know, comfortably out on top. So here we are. Um, so yeah, I went to the cinema to see this. And... I, I'm I'm a fan of Guillermo del Toro, but I wasn't sure what to expect from this film. The trailer got me super excited. I wasn't going. I'm not going to lie. I mean, um, it the trailer just looked absolutely outstanding. The whole idea of these giant robots fighting these huge monsters was just, you know, sounded so exciting. And I went into the cinema to watch this one, and it just blew me away. Uh, for me. It was, I don't remember what else came out that year, but this would have been either my favourite film of the year or right up there with my favourite films of the year. Um, I thought it was outstanding. Um, I thought the effects were stunningly done. My worry going into this was that we were going to get, I mean, the Transformers films that, you know, I kept farting out every couple of years were just a CGI mess as far as I was concerned. I could never figure out what was going on screen. It was just, you know, mechanical things clattering into each other and it just blurred into one and I just couldn't make head and tail of the CGI mess. So my main worry going into this was that. Are we going to get this again? Is it going to be a CGI mess and I can't figure out what's going on on screen? Well, I needn't have worried because... It's filmed and stylized and done in such a way that you can follow every single blow, every single tear, every everything that these Jaegers and Kaijus do to each other. You kind of you're fully able to see it, um, and I was just I couldn't believe the how good the effects were watching this film. But I also really enjoyed the human elements of this film. And that's another problem with movies like this. And I think this is the big problem that I've had with like the Godzilla and the Kong movies that we've had over the last few years. You know, I've enjoyed the Godzilla and the Kong stuff, but the human element, the human side of it has been the worst part of those movies. So that was a worry for this film. I needn't have worried again because I thought Guillermo del Toro created some very memorable characters here. Now, I'm not a big fan, I'm not going to lie, of Charlie Hunnam. Um, I don't dislike him, and I don't avoid a film that he's in, um, but there's two films in particular that he's done that I really, really enjoy. This is one of them, and The Gentleman is another one. Um, I think, you know, with the right part, he's like um, 
he can be a good heroic character sort of thing. And I, I know he wasn't a heroic character in The Gentleman, but he certainly was in this. Um, and, you know, they give him this great backstory with his kind of his brother um, being killed at the beginning of the film. And the whole idea of these Jaeger pilots, you need two of these Jaeger pilots to manoeuvre uh, these giant robots because they're just so big. So you've got to kind of drift with your partner in there. Um, so you're kind of in each other's memories and mind and stuff. And um, he find, felt everything that his brother felt when his brother died. I just thought it, 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 was a, it was a good way to kind of give him this backstory and it really, really worked. Um, and it kind of made him a bit of an underdog when he comes back to the Jaeger program later in the film. Um, when he's kind of recruited again by Idris Elba's character. So it actually gave us some memorable characters. We didn't, we only really got anything coming close to interaction between like the Australian pilots and Charlie Hunnam and um, Rinko uh, Kikuchi's character, Mako. There's other pilots there. They've got, they've got like the Chinese one, I believe it is, and the Russian one. And you only see them in action. You don't ever see into your interaction between the other pilots. So um, I, I, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of that. But I understand they've got to kind of keep the pacing up and keep it going. And the and the story here, the main story here, is between um, Charlie Hunnam's character and the Mako character, you know, their connection as pilots sort of thing. Um, so you get this brilliant opening to the film where it, we get this narration from Charlie Hunnam where he talks about how the Kaiju first turned up, the devastation that they caused, how the Jaeger program came about and their success, then their failure. And it's a good 17, 18 minutes into the film before you even see the um, title of the film, Pacific Rim, come up on screen. It's a brilliant, brilliant intro and it really does a great job of introducing us to this world. There's some great world building going on in this film and it's just done masterfully, in my opinion, by Guillermo del Toro and the writers. Um, and then, you know, you get the introduction to these characters and this and this last ditch effort with these last Jaegers left in the world, last line of defense against the Kaiju. Um, and then when the action starts again, I mean, it's just so exciting because they build Gypsy Danger up. Um, you know, Charlie and Make, Charlie Human's character and Mako, you know, they're not compatible initially and there's a bit of a problem. And then they're, they're the only choice they've got left at one point in the film in regards to taking down these two massive kaiju and you get this really massive you know um fight right uh dead set in the middle of the film and it's just incredibly done and then you get a great conclusion of the film however the conclusion to the film is very well done but it's kind of done underwater so it it's not as I don't feel it didn't feel as impactful as like the fight that was in the middle of the film um, where, I mean, you just get to see the scale of these giant things. Whereas, um, you know, the, he uses like a cruise liner as a baseball bat to hit the cars you with Gypsy Danger. I mean, it's just like, it's great things like that that just remind you of the scale of these things. And it, it's very smart how they do it in the film. You really get the impression of the scale of these things, you know, when the, you got these huge choppers carrying them and dropping them in the location, and um, and the, it just d is done so so well. I mean, it's not there really to overanalyze because you could pick it up, pick holes in it. Um, but from my perspective, I thought it was done really really well and very very exciting action sequences. Gets a bit corny here and there, you know. The Idris Elba speech is a little bit. Uh, independent stay, I suppose, but um, it, it, overall, I think this works as like a really good popcorn film. If you go into this film with the wrong um, attitude, mental attitude, if you go into it not, you know, not willing to kind of let go and enjoy it, you're probably not going to enjoy it. Um, but it, it, 
I would strongly recommend if nobody out there has seen this film and you're watching this review, you have to go and watch Pacific Rim. It's a superb film. Now, the sequel, Pacific Pacific Rim Uprising, I'll probably take a look at. I remember that when I when I re when I watched that, I went to cinema to watch that. I was disappointed with that one, um, but I am going to revisit it because uh, you know it's been a few years since that came out, so I might feel a bit differently if I rewatch it now. Interestingly, as well, um, for those of you who are Portal fans out there, you know the game Portal and Portal Two. Um, the voice on the computer in Pacific Rim is uh, Ellen McLean, who also voiced um, Glados um, in Portal. Interestingly, uh, Guillermo del Toro was a fan, so he, he approached Valve and asked him, asked them if if uh, they wouldn't mind. So, yeah, that's that's a nice little tidbit for Portal fans out there. Tom Cruise was considering the Idris Elba part, but obviously um, that didn't pan out. Um, the names uh, who were in the line to do the Ch uh, Charlie Hunnam character was people like Taylor Kitsch, Aaron Paul and Henry Cavill. Uh, but I think overall, I think the, the film was cast excellently and it worked um, as a really good um, Kaiju Jäger battle royale film. It's just such a great film. Go and check it out. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm going to keep putting like these polls up on the channel to give you choices of what I'm going to review next sort of thing. Um, and I'm really enjoying doing that. So it's a good way to keep connected to you guys. So keep voting. Keep interacting with the channel and I'll be back with plenty of my reviews and content very, very soon.